everyone, welcome back to another video. Look what I finally got in the mail. The Grizz Eye colored pencils in the 72 set have finally been released. The company was kind enough to send these to me so that I could share them with all of you and I am so excited to share these pencils because if you saw my video about a month and a half ago, I did announce the future release of these pencils and I did color with them in one of the Grizz Eye drawing kits. If you've not seen that video, I will link that in the upper right hand corner, but they did perform beautifully and I will show you that a little bit further into this video. If you check the description box down below, you will find links down there to my Facebook group, my email list my Etsy shop and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. I also now have channel membership if you would like more information about that. You can click the join button down below the video. So I did already take these out of the envelope that they originally came in. They came in a padded white envelope when they came to me. They actually looked like they were moved around quite a lot in the envelope that they came in. This part of it was opened and it looks like the pencils had moved around a little bit and that's why all of this is here on the packaging. But it looks like the pencils are still in decent condition so I'm thankful for that. <laughs> But if you look here really quickly, you could see that we do get some really pretty colors in here. So I know a lot of us are used to seeing colored pencils in a tin. And so these are just a little bit different. But for me, I don't mind because I'm going to eventually take these out of here and I'm going to put them into color family order and put them in one of my favorite pencil cases. They are advertised as premium pencils and velvet touch. There are 72 pencils and then they just have their website down here on the bottom of the box. So if we turn it over here on the back side, it is going to show us all of the colors. It says 72 vivid colors and it looks like we do get some really pretty colors in here. The one thing that is really standing out to me is all of the shades of purple. I can't wait to swatch these out and see all of these different shades, but for a set of 72, there are a lot of purples in here. We even get these pinky purples up here, so we get this fuchsia, and then it looks like the purples are all the way from here all the way to here. So that's actually quite a lot. A velvety smooth layering and blending for full coverage, soft 3.8 millimeter break resistant core, perfect for use with Grizzai drawing kits. Now, if y'all have not seen any of my videos on the Grizzai drawing kits, they are absolutely wonderful and I will show you one of those in this video because I want to show you a sample of the coloring in case you didn't see my previous video where I had originally announced the release of these pencils. Now it does say on here that they are oil based but in all of my communications with the company they did tell me that these are a hybrid balance of wax and oil. So I'm assuming since the box says that they're oil based they probably have a bigger ratio of oil but let's go ahead and just pull one pencil out and take a look at these. So they do have the colored barrels. They say Grizzai in gold on the barrel. Then they have a color name. This one is Fuchsia and then they have a number. So all of the pencils are going to have names and numbers. Here is the tip of the pencil and you can see that the tip of the core is very flat and like I've said in previous videos they do that to protect them in shipping and in this case I'm really glad that they did because my pencils did move around a bit inside the packaging when they were being shipped but my pencils look like they are in pretty good condition. Now they do have the hexagonal barrel being that it is flat around the edges you can just lay it on your desk it's not going to roll all over the place it will just stay in place and I know a lot of times when you have the round pencils they are just rolling all over the place and sometimes it does get a little bit frustrating. I get frustrated with my Prismacolors all the time no matter how much I love them. <laughs> Y'all should see me trying to take a picture for a thumbnail of my video and I'm trying to place the pencils in a certain place and they're just rolling all over the place and I cannot get a good picture. <laughs> But I love that they're hexagonal and I find that the hexagonal pencils, when you put them in your hand, they rest very nicely up against your fingers and they make them much easier to hold and much easier to color with. I do like when my pencils don't have the color dipped tips because it makes it much easier for me to extend the life of my pencil without having to use a pencil extender. I did do a shorts video quite a while ago showing how I do that. I will link that in the upper right hand corner so that you can go and view that but these pencils will be available open stock you are going to be able to buy these pencils for 99 cents each if you are to run low on any individual color 
These pencils will be available on the GrizEye website as well as Amazon for only $49.99. And I will have both of those links down in the description box below if you're interested in picking some of these up for yourself. So I wanted to go ahead and lay them out like this so y'all could see all the beautiful colors. And the order that they came in is okay, but I'll probably switch these around just a little bit. And I didn't want to pull them all the way out of the box because I don't want to mess up the order that they are in. The only change that I'm really seeing that I'm going to do when I lay these out on my swatch chart is I'm probably going to take these pinks that are here and move them down before the reds. I'll probably also take some of these purples and move those as well, but I'm going to put them in some kind of order before I swatch them out. We do get a really gorgeous array of colors in this set, and I think I'm really, really going to like these, but I do have to go through and I have to sharpen them all. Now, I did notice that I had one here that the core was broken, so we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to use that one in the pencil sharpener test in the next part of the video so we can see how well that one sharpens after it's been broken. So if you've seen my pencil reviews before, you know I always like to test my pencils out in the Doll 133 because sharpening them in this manual sharpener will let me know how hard or soft the wood is. If I were to put something like a Crayola in here, it would be very, very hard to sharpen. And if I were to put something like a Prismacolor in here, it would be very, very easy to sharpen or to turn this lever. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and we are going to use the doll to sharpen the one that actually had the broken core. So with the doll, all you do is push in this little button here and then put your pencil in and we are going to go ahead and turn it. And it is fairly easy to sharpen and you can see that even though the pencils are hexagonal, it is still sharpening them. Now, I had to sharpen that quite a few times. It probably is just because it was a broken core. Let's go ahead and do this one on the doll as well. I'm gonna have to go through and sharpen all 72 of these anyway. We'll be able to see how long it'll take when they are the way that you would receive them in the mail. I'm just gonna put this one in here and we are going to sharpen this one too. And then that one stopped right away. So it did only go extra long because that one was broken. And you can see because it was broken that this one is quite a bit shorter, but the leads on them look absolutely beautiful. And I have the perfect sharp point on each one of them. And they were fairly easy to sharpen in my doll. Now I have my favorite choice for an electric sharpener. And so we are going to test these pencils out on the electric sharpener. Now I like to test the pencils out on the electric sharpener and the doll 133 because I know that for some of us, we can't use the doll 133 because we may have hand pain or arthritis in our hand. And so it makes it more difficult to be able to turn the lever. Okay, so this color is called carrot. That's a really pretty orange. Let's go ahead and just slide this one into the jar link. And this one does take all different sides of pencils, anywhere from six millimeters to 12 millimeters. And it has taken every single shape of pencil that I have put in here. So it should be fine with the hexagonal pencils. You could see that it went in there very, very nicely and I'm barely gonna push down and it auto stopped. Now, if you do have this pencil sharpener, I always tell y'all to leave it on three. There was just an actual replacement that was released for this one because this was no longer available, but I actually just found it on Amazon and they must be getting rid of whatever the overstock was that they had because it was available again the last time I checked. And I did link that in my Facebook group. So hopefully some of you were able to pick that up. I did do a video on the replacement for this pencil sharpener and I'll link that in the upper right hand corner. This is the beautiful lead that we now have and I'll show you the comparison between this one and the doll. That is the difference. It looks like we got a little bit of a sharper lead with the jar link but they both do a fabulous job. I usually leave this part out of the video and some of the things that I do behind the scenes while I'm doing a pencil review, but I wanted to add this in here because I was pulling all the pencils out of the package to put them in color family order. Of course, it's not perfect color family order because it didn't really swatch any of them out aside from a couple, but I have so many of you always asking me how I put pencils into color family order, and so I thought it would be fun to add this part on here. My main objective here is just to get the pencils all sharpened and into some kind of order so that I could get ready for the swatching portion of the video. So 
I've sharpened them all and I've laid them out into some kind of color family order. And it was really helpful that they are hexagonal and they're not round. Otherwise they would have been rolling all over the place on me. <laughs> But I think I like the order that I have them in. And of course, I just looked at the cores of the pencils to be able to get some kind of idea. I did swatch a couple of them off to the side that I was unsure about, but we're gonna see what happens once we lay them down onto the swatch chart. And if I feel like I need to switch anything later, I'll just go back and switch them later. And if I really, really love these, I will put them into my perfect color family order and I will end up re-swatching all of them. But you can probably see by them just laying out like this, the gorgeous array of colors that we do get in this set. For a 72 set, I feel like we've got a really good balance. And especially when I got over here to the grays, we get a green gray, then we get a lighter gray, and then we get a cool gray and a warm gray. So it looks like we get four grays and they're all really great shades of gray. So it's a really good balance. And then this one here is called charcoal. And so when I swatched that one out, it was a very dark gray. I thought that it would have a little bit of purple in it because the barrel looks a little bit purplish gray, but I don't think it did. We'll see more when we actually swatch these out. And then of course we get our black and then here, we get our white. And then like I said earlier, when we originally looked at these, look at all of these purples. And I'll move them up just a little bit so you could see, but right here, all of these here are all purples. And I'm really excited about that because like I said, in most colored pencil sets where you only get 72 colors, even when you get 150 or 120 colors, you don't get that many purples. But when we swatch these out, we'll have to see the difference in the undertones of the different purples that we get in this set, and that will tell us a whole lot more. We still get some really nice blues, we still get a really gorgeous array of greens, and then we get a few browns, some of our reddish browns, and then our typical just regular browns, as well as a very dark brown. I think that we've got a really good selection of colors, but we're gonna go ahead and swatch these out now so that we could see what they look like once they all come together. So I've written out all of the names in the color family order that I decided to go with and we're going to go ahead and swatch all of these out. Now when I swatch them out you'll see me do a gradient of light, medium, and then dark and that's because I like to see the different values that I can get from each one of the pencils. This swatch chart with 72 spaces on it is a swatch chart that's available in my Etsy shop. It does have the spaces for the name and the number but I decided to not go ahead and write down all of the numbers because I may end up re-swatching these so just to get it done quickly I went ahead and just did all of the names for now but I will always have the link down in the description box for my Etsy shop if you would like to pick up your own swatch charts this does also come in 120 as well
our colors are all swatched out and I do want to say that we do have a really nice array of colors that comes in this set. Now as far as the color family order that I chose, just looking at the cores of the pencils, there are a couple things on here that I probably would had changed. The first thing that catches my eye is the raspberry probably would have been next to the pomegranate because the pomegranate is just a little bit lighter shade of the raspberry. Now as I was laying these pencils down I did notice they are more of a crumbly pencil and I did leave the crumbs as I was swatching on the swatch chart because I wanted you all to see which ones either got a little crumbly while I was swatching or which ones broke. Now I did speed the swatching up but if you're watching really closely you could really tell which ones actually broke on me. I think there was only one that broke on me and it is right here. I believe it was the brown because when it broke on me it actually got down here into this other box where I have the color name and then you can see for instance the fuchsia here had a few little crumbs. The red had a few crumbs. I did notice that the colors that have red in them are a little bit softer than the other colors. Now I did not experience any scratchiness with these pencils. They actually go down really smoothly. The lay down of these pencils is absolutely wonderful and I do already know that because like I said I did already do a review on one of the Grizz Eye kits where I colored a Colt and they went down on the paper so nicely. Even though they're a softer pencil, they did hold a pretty sharp lead. I didn't have to sharpen them too often. That's always really important when you're coloring something like fur or coloring hair, but I will say that I do love the way that these pencils lay down. We do get quite a few purples. We get purples from here all the way to here, and then we get these purples that also have pink in them. We still get quite a few blues. This blue here also does have quite a bit of purple in it and this color here called Royal. This probably should have been down here closer to the purples as well. But those are just a couple things that I will change when I re-swatch these because I do want to put these in order. I feel like I'm going to use these pencils probably much more than I have any one of my other budget sets. I'm really excited about this set. I have really been anticipating the release of these pencils because they just went down so nicely and I I really enjoy using them. But we get a really good selection of yellows. The white, when I laid that down, it was so nice and soft and it went down so buttery smooth. It's a really, really nice white. And this was my original sample kit and I had a white in here as well. And I used it when I colored the Colt in the Grizz Eye kit. This is the Colt here, of course it's on grayscale. And in the Grizz Eye kits you do get an image that you are supposed to match the colors up to and color your own. This comes on the Stonehenge paper, which is a really, really nice paper. If you're interested in this Colt drawing kit, I will also have this linked in the description box below. I think actually right now on Amazon, it has a 20% off coupon. I think it's $24.99 with a 20% off coupon. I don't know how long that will last or you can get it on the Grizz Eye website. I'll have both linked in the description box. But these pencils just went down so nicely and the combination of the colors, they're just beautiful. And I really, really loved working with these. I honestly felt like I was using something like a Prismacolor when I was coloring this because I've used the Prismacolors on this paper as well in a previous Grizz Eye kit in another video that I did. And in all honesty, I felt like I was using professional grade pencils. So getting back to the swatch chart, we also get a really nice selection of oranges. We get an orange here. We get a light peach and then a peach. We get some more oranges over here. We do get a raw umber and an ochre. The ochre probably should be closer to some of these yellows. And then the raw umber, I'm probably gonna move down here with the browns. But we get some really pretty shades of red. We get a very deep, dark red. Then we get some really nice shades of pink and all of the pinks are different from one another. They all have different undertones. These two are very close, but they do have a different undertone. We get this gorgeous hot pink color. It's a beautiful, bright, vibrant pink. That color is really, really pretty. Then we get our pinky purples here. This one's a lighter shade of this one. This one probably has more purple in it. Then we get raspberry, which is a darker shade of the pomegranate. We get quite a few purples, as I said earlier, especially for our 72 set. We get lots of blues. We do get an indigo. Indigo is always one of my favorite colors. I 
love my darkest shades of blue and my lightest shades of blue. As far as the lightest shade of blue in this set, we don't get a light, light, light blue like I'm always looking for in a budget set. Hopefully in the future they will come out with a bigger set and they'll give us a lighter blue, but we do get a teal that is really, really pretty. As we move into the greens, we get our bright, vibrant, lighter greens, and then we move into our darker greens, and then our olive shades of green. We do have some really nice selections of browns. We get some browns that have more red in them, some browns that have orange in them, and then we get our solid brown. We get a really good selection of grays for our 72 set because we get one warm gray, one cool gray, then we get a gray that has green in it, which is just gorgeous, and then we get a lighter gray, and the lighter gray can be used in combination with either the cool gray or the warm gray. And we get a charcoal here, which is a very dark, deep gray, almost black, and then we do also get a true black, and when I was doing the darkest value of the black, it did get pretty pretty dark and the white got really white as well and like I said the white worked really really nicely when I was coloring in the Colt on the Grisaille drawing kit. So I thought we can go ahead and do a blend test and see how well these pencils blend together and I really love blues so we're going to go with some blues. I definitely want to use the lightest blue we have here powder and then I really want to test them out so I really want to use a pretty big difference in the colors so I think I'm going to go straight to this blue here and then into sapphire. So I grabbed a piece of spring hole paper and I've got my colors and we're going to go ahead and see how well these blend together. So I'm going to lay these down a little bit differently starting with my lightest color. Again this is the powder and I want to see what they look like when I get a blend of two different colors and also how well they blend together. I really want to put these to the test and see how well they perform. From what I know from using these pencils they lay down really nicely and I really enjoy enjoyed using them. We have a blend of those colors. It also acts as a second layer. I still have my lightest color down here. Now I'm going to come over it with my darkest color and I'm going to come a little bit above where I have that second color because I want to be able to see the blend of those two colors and the color that it creates. As I come down here, I'm going to lift up on my pencil just a little bit so that we get a really nice blend in that transition area there. But you can see what this color looks like up here. You can see a really nice blend of the darkest color with the mid-tone right here in this area. And then this here is the mid-tone blended with our lightest color, which is really super pretty. Now I have my lightest color again, which was the powder. And I'm gonna start here and go a little bit over this blend again of the mid-tone and the lightest color. And I'm gonna pull it all the way down here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again. And I'm gonna go over this area here where I have a blend of both colors. And then I'm also going to come way down here where we're transitioning from one color to the other and we've got a gorgeous blend of the mid-tone and the lightest color and look how beautiful that transition is right there and look at the gorgeous blend of these two colors. Now I'm going to come back with my darkest color and I'm going to go over this area here where I have just the darkest color and then I'm going to pull it into my transition area where I have a pretty big blend of these two colors. I'm going to grab my mid-tone again and lay a little bit more down of this color and pull that into the lightest color. And then I'm gonna come back with my lightest color and add another layer of that. These are blending together really, really nicely. They're creating a really beautiful blend between the colors. They are coming together seamlessly at the transition areas in all places, up here and down here. Let's go ahead and add another layer going the other direction. I'm gonna do this with my darkest color and we're gonna start trying to fill some of the white of the paper. I'm gonna go over it here where I just have that darkest color and then pull it down where I have a transition and blend of these two colors. And I'm using a little bit harder pressure and I'm still getting a really beautiful blend and it's still not covering all of the white of the paper. I'm sure I can get plenty of layers down here with these pencils. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my mid-tone, pulling it all the way down into that transition area and blend of these two colors and then I'm going to do the same thing with my lightest color and you can see that it's really starting to fill some of that white of the paper but not all the way and I think what would be really cool to test out with these pencils is how the white pencil works and I think I'm going to go ahead and use the white as a burnisher and we're going to come in over this blend of colors we're going to see how well the white works as a burnisher and I don't usually do this in my blend tests but from what I remember when I colored the Colt 
the white worked really, really well, and it went down on the paper really, really nicely. So we're gonna see what happens when we use it as a burnisher. So I'm just gonna start up here at the darkest color, and I'm gonna pull all the way down. Wow, it's really spreading those colors out. And it's really working at covering the white of the paper as well. So let me turn it and I'm gonna go back the other direction. And it's really moving those colors. So for those of you that just started working with colored pencils, you can always use the white pencil as a burnisher to bring all of your colors together and use it as a final layer. Or you can use a blender pencil to do this as well. And if this is working this well with the white pencil, I'm sure they would work just beautifully with a blender pencil as well. But look how well this white pencil is working as a burnisher. I don't see much white left in the paper so it's really brought those colors together really really nicely and burnished them out beautifully all of the transition areas and the blends of the colors everything looks really really seamless so with all that said i am really impressed with these pencils I hope you all enjoyed my review of the Grizzai 72 set of pencils. I really, really do love working with these pencils, and I can't wait to color with them in a coloring book. If you would like to see me color with them in a coloring book, please let me know in the comments below. I will make sure the video is linked in the upper right-hand corner where I did color with these on the Grizzai drawing kit for those of you that would like to see that. But when I did color with them, like I said, they performed beautifully. And the blend test was just absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. You cannot see any of the transition areas here between any of the colors and all the blends of the two colors in the transition areas up through here and down through here are all completely seamless. There are a few crumbs around here, but like I said earlier in the video, they are a more crumbly pencil, which is fine with me because I do like a softer pencil and I don't mind that. If you're coloring with these in a coloring book or if you're doing a piece of artwork, whatever you're doing with your colored pencils, always have a little makeup brush or something off to the side so that you can can brush all of those little crumbs off so that they don't get into the other areas and whatever it is you're coloring or whatever it is you're working on. If you have any questions about these pencils, leave your questions down in the comments below. I would be glad to answer those. I will have the links for these pencils in the description box below as well as anything else you've seen me use in this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring! Bye!